Good morning. The title of this channel is Strabismus to Stereopsis. So strabismus is when your eyes aren't pointing in the same direction and stereopsis is when both of your eyes can combine what they're seeing into one amazing 3D image with depth. So my goal is to go from having strabismus where my eyes were not pointing in the same direction to learning how to use my eyes together and perceive depth. So today I'm going to take you to, through two exercises that I do and use personally that have helped immensely in the process. The exercises I'm going to be showing you are just downloadable PDFs that I offer on my website. I'm not going to take you through the whole thing, but just kind of give you a taste of the different types of exercises that you can do to, to build stereopsis. So if you want to see more details about the PDFs that I offer, go to strabismussolutions.com slash PDF or just visit the shop on my website and I'll put those links in the description. So the first thing I want to talk to you about that I... It's, it's just so important is um, looking near and far. So when you are looking near, it's called converging your eyes. Well, converging is when you look at something close up and both eyes converge on that item and they fuse that together and then they can see with depth, right? And then if you're looking at something far away, the eyes actually go apart just slightly. It's not like this and, you know, it's just a little and that's how the eye can focus eyes eyes <laughs> can focus on something in the distance and that's called divergence yeah, so jumping between converging and diverging is super powerful for me because it gives me awareness and i can feel my eyes moving so you can try this right now without any exercise just look at something look at go out to a window and look as far away as you can and can you feel that your eyes are out then look at your finger and feel your eyes move in and then look far away and look out and then in, out, in, out, in. And you get that feeling, right? So with some of the exercises that I create, I try to create that feeling of near and far with a 3D stereo image. So you put your glasses on and look at the image I'm gonna pull up here. What you're seeing on the screen here are well, if you're looking without glasses, you're gonna see four rings, but with your, when you're wearing the glasses, you're gonna see two rings. And the one on the left, I labeled near, because <laughs> and that one, it should appear to be coming out of the screen. And then the one that says far should look like it's going into the screen or behind the screen. So with near far switches, you're gonna go look, look from one ring to the other ring from one to the other, and can you feel your eyes switching from near to far? So if this is super challenging for you, you can try a few different things to make it a little bit easier. You can try getting closer to the screen, getting further from the screen. Usually getting closer is gonna make it a little bit easier. Um, I like to put my hand right here in front of my face while I'm doing it, and that helps me keep my peripheral in view. The more you can keep what you're seeing around you, in your view while you're looking at this ring, right? You're looking at the ring, but at the same time, you wanna perceive what's happening on the sides, up and down, and especially what's happening between you and the screen and even behind the screen. You can even picture the space behind you, which sounds weird because you can't, don't have eyeballs in the back of your head, but if you did, what would you see? All of these are really powerful for helping your brain engage like what's happening in the space and move towards being able to see with both eyes. Being able to perceive that depth is really hard. So um, on some of the PDFs that I create, I try to add in some other cues and things that will make it easier to perceive depth. In this exercise, you see these three different boxes on the screen. And each one of these diamonds is going, when you're wearing the red and blue glasses, is gonna appear to be in a different location inside the box. And the way I have them positioned and the way I have the boxes, it gives it more of a sense of 3D than it would if it was just, you know, three diamonds without the boxes that were just all right next to each other. So you can do the same activity here where you're looking at the closest one, which is the bottom one, and then go to the one that's in the middle, which is the one on the right, and then the one in the back and move your eyes from one to the next and really get in tune with, can you feel the difference? Can you feel your eyes moving? 
converging in when the, the it's coming closer to you, like in the bottom one versus diverging and going out like on the top one. Okay, so that's the first type of exercise that I do with these PDFs is near far switching. So I'm trying to get my eyes used to looking far, looking near, switching my eyes from converging to diverging. A second exercise that I want to show you today is what I call diagonal seeing. Totally made that up. This is not an official vision therapy term, but something that I discovered that has really helped me personally. So I want to show that, share that with all of you because I think it could help you as well. So I'm pulling up this screen where you're going to see these lines. And again, you want to be wearing your red and blue glasses with red on the right side. And what you're going to see if your eyes are working together is over here on the left, at the top, that line should be coming out of the screen. And on the bottom, the line should be going into the screen. Now, it might not be straight, it might be angled, depending on how your eyes are working. But what you do is you trace your eyes from the top of the line to the bottom of the line. And you're going to smoothly move your eyes in and out. Why is this so helpful? Why is this so important? You might wonder, because that might seem obvious, but a lot of times people with strabismus, especially me, I don't know, maybe I'm the only one who experiences this. I think of the world in two dimensions. I, I know that it's three dimensional. I know that certain things are further away from me, but I don't think about it like that. I think of my left to right and up and down. When I think peripheral, I think, oh yeah, I got to see to the sides. No, peripheral also includes what's in front of you. And that's the space I was missing out on. And now that I'm learning to see that, it is so powerful. Like that's the secret sauce. That's what makes the difference. It's, it's being able to see this direction. And so it's really hard for my brain to even think in that way. And this is an exercise that forces me to be like, okay, this diagonal line is moving this direction. Can I move and trace my eyes along that diagonal line smoothly? And can I feel my eyes going from converging when it's out here to diverging when it's going into the screen? And being able to visualize it, that's a huge part, and to actually see it, it's huge. So I take this concept of diagonal scene and take kind of take it to the next level with stereo practice number two, which is available on my website. And I really just, this is such an important concept. And I know you're thinking like, this is so dumb. It's simple, but you have to trust me because it's really important. So if you want to see the other, I have two more exercises that in addition to these ones that I have on an article on my website, it's strabismussolutions.com slash PDF. And you can see, you know, more directions. I give a list of, I think, 10 different tips when you're doing these, how to get both eyes to engage if you're struggling, because there's so much that you can do to get your brain to see these images in 3D. It, it takes a lot of practice, but there are things you can do to, that will make it easier. And if you get the bundle that I offer, I have three separate PDFs that each have several exercises and focus on different skills like divergence and diagonal scene and near to far, you can get the bundle for only $10, which is a steal. Um, and I, I want to get that out to as many people as possible because I have spent hours and hours and hours designing these so that they work really, really well for me, for my situation with strabismus, where we, we need it in a different way than the normal vision therapy patient. Our brains just look at things differently. And so I've made these that are kind of specialized for people that are more beginner level um, in vision therapy, not like the advanced. They have some that are really advanced and way too hard and complicated. So I think these are really awesome. I think they could really help you. So go check it out. And I hope you have an amazing day and that you are able to take your vision to the next level. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out these other videos that I put out that have amazing information.